Double O seven. The stolen device is in that truck. If we hurry, we can still catch it. By the way, who are you? The name's Bond. James Bond. MP online. A redesigned piece of missile guidance hardware intended for the orbiting U.S. space weapons platform has been stolen. NATO has advised that recovery is critical. Should an unfriendly power reverse engineer this device, the platform's global defense capabilities would be severely compromised. Recent intelligence implicates Raphael Drake in the theft. Hard to believe, as Drake is a respected green industrialist whose Phoenix International dismantles obsolete atomic reactors and decommissions nuclear arsenals. An Allied agent planted in Drake's organization reports that Alexander Mayhew, a British expatriate who heads Phoenix's Japanese branch, is en route to Drake's castle in Austria. 
The stolen guidance device will change hands tonight during a formal gathering at the castle. Drake security teams are hardened men. As a W agent, you may have to answer aggression with aggression. Good luck, Bond. Thank you all for accepting my invitation this evening. Your generous gifts have ensured the success of our World Refugee Fund. Once again, my gratitude to all for making the journey here. And now, cocktails are waiting for you in the salon. I have business to attend to. Play the hostess, won't you, darling? Gems! Oh. You're the deep cover agent? It's not as deep as it looks. Sorry to interrupt your debriefing, 007. Agent Nightshade, CIA. Dominique Paradis, French Intelligence. Mayhew's arrived with the stolen guidance device. Drake just went to the conference room. I would imagine he's meeting Mayhew there. Take this key. You won't get far without it. I'd better get back to the party before I am missed. MI6 wants surveillance photos of that exchange. Right. I'll create a distraction for you while you make your way to the conference room. Is that dress standard company issue, Nightshade? Don't get any ideas, 007. It's armored in all the right places. Here it is, Mr. Drake, the missile guidance module we stole from the Americans. I trust this effort brings us one step closer to globalization. You've saved our technicians considerable time, Mayhew. Can we accelerate the other Nightfire elements as well? Absolutely, sir. We're well underway training assault teams for the... Get your hands off me! We caught on the hallway, sir. I was looking for the powder room. His lockpicks and the 9mm? Hey, it's a tough neighborhood. If this security breach leads back to Japan, it's your head, Mayhew. Secure this in the safe room. I doubt she's alone. Lock the castle down. Now! And take this woman to the cable car station. I don't want her interrogation to upset the guests. Interrogation? What kind of party is this, anyway? James, why do you always seem to end up on top? Uh, a lower center of gravity?
That one's a nasty bit of business, isn't it? Perfect. You drive, I'll shoot. Hurry, Zoe. We haven't much time. Phew! Looks like we shook him up. It's not over yet. Back into the woods. But you look like you needed the rest. I don't recall getting much rest at all, James. When it draws into the extraction point, we'll meet you there. Do hurry. Good heavens, what's that? Welcome aboard, 007. Bond, MI6 has been contacted by Alexander Mayhew, Raphael Drake's chief of Asian operations. Mayhew fears that Drake intends to kill him, holding him responsible for their little setback in Austria. In exchange for our protection, Mayhew will deliver evidence exposing Drake's master plan, codenamed Nightfire, a scheme that Mayhew insists threatens global security. The name's Bond. James Bond. Mayhew's son is expecting you. Mayhew has one demand. To be brought in by James Bond himself. Our informant awaits you at his Japanese estate. Good luck, 007. Mr. Bond, at last. This is Kiko Hayashi, my bodyguard. I assure you, she's quite skilled. No doubt. The Nightfire data, Mayhew. We weren't expecting other guests. Please, stay with Alex. It's Drake. Quick, we must get to the security bunker. What you're looking for is locked in my bedroom safe. This is the key. Just feed it to the dragon. The dragon? Right. Keep your head down. I'll be back for you. Also, could you wipe the hard drive on my computer? I don't want to leave a data trail for Drake to follow. And please protect my servants. They're like family to me. You saved my life. How will I repay you? If I live through this, I'll need a large sake and one hell of a massage. We're finished here, Mayhew. Let's go. What about Kiko? Have you seen her? She's a big girl. I'm sure she can take care of herself. Wait here. Let's get moving. in my safe will lead you to the Nightfire evidence, the Phoenix building in Tokyo. Tokyo? You'll need the password to the mainframe. It's Afterburn. I thought the evidence was here, Mayhew. I did a little extra insurance policy to keep me alive. A lot of good it did me. Have. <laughs> I was pinned down. Alex. I promise you, Drake will pay. Kiko, you're not safe here. Come with me.
Alex's code key and password should get you into the Phoenix mainframe, but they'll have the whole building locked down by now. Anything can be penetrated with the proper tools. While you've been hard at work, 007, so has Q Branch. You will find several useful items have been added to your inventory. Tranquilizer darts for inconveniently placed guards, silent and non-lethal. A decryptor to hack computers, keypads, elevator controls, etc., etc. And finally, the Q worm. Q? There's a lady present. Plug this virus into one of the computer terminals, and the worm allows MI6 to monitor their systems. Please try to return these tools in usable condition, but I shan't hold my breath. Q out. James, we need to hurry. The guards change shifts in 30 minutes. will complete in will complete in 10 seconds. You must get out of here, James. It's a trap. You don't understand. Drake couldn't help and make you safe without the password, and he's not going to let the Nightfire files live with you. These stairs go directly to the roof. You'll find a parachute in the helicopter. It's your only chance of escape. Dominique, if Drake finds you out, Please, James, go now. Sorry to drop in like this, but would you ladies mind giving me a ride? <laughs> We've decrypted the Nightfire files you secured last night, 007. They contain rather troubling data concerning a shutdown nuclear power plant not far from Tokyo. Phoenix Corporation has been contracted to cleanse the plant of radioactive material. We now suspect that massive amounts of construction have been secretly carried out inside the towers. Your mission is to infiltrate the plant and find out what Drake is hiding. As always, 007, best of luck. Of course, dismantling a nuclear reactor is an incredibly delicate operation. And dangerous as well, yes? That is why we've invested in robot technology, like those forklifts. Insanely expensive. But keeping our people safe is important. And when our work is done, the beaches here will be clean enough for our children to swim and their grandfathers to fish. Thank you, Mr. Drake. I appreciate the exclusive interview. And so do I. Interview is over, Mr. Rook. All snipers back in position. Team and take him down.
Kiko, where have you been? Trying to catch up with you. You must be exhausted, James. What would you say to a little nap? I'd ask you to join us, Mr. Bond, but why waste caviar on a man who won't live long enough to enjoy it? Give mine to Kiko. She's earned it. <laughs> Don't take it personally. Women have an advantage, you see. They can blind us with love, but that's why we have other eyes to watch them. Like the hidden camera in the stairwell leading to the helipad. I don't understand, Raphael. Please, don't insult me further. It's a pity. I fell quite hard for you. And now it's time you did the same for me. Goodbye, Dominique. Use the helipad, and take care of the body. No! It's futile, Mr. Bond. You've seen too much of my operation to live, but I wanted you to enjoy this moment first. On loan to MI6. The Q branch has been monitoring the tower security systems through the worm you planted. I saw you in a bit of a spot, so here I am. Well, you're a talkative one, aren't you? Sorry. It's been a difficult evening, Miss McCall. I lost a friend. You did well at Drake's training facility, 007. We agree that the rockets to launch these astronauts into space are most likely harbored at Drake's missile disassembly works in the South Pacific. Although UN inspectors have given the island their seal of approval, perhaps your unofficial visit will reveal more. Agent McCall will provide backup. The Vanquish should provide the most discreet approach to Drake's island. Agent McCall, if you please. We're driving there? Precisely. Ignore that sinking feeling, Agent McCall. Everything is under control. M. Our worst fears are confirmed. Drake's been stockpiling nuclear missiles, not disarming them. 007, you must find a way to disable that arsenal. We should follow that sub, James. It might be our only way into the base. James, that sub is blocking our access to the beach. There's never valet parking when you need it most.
Good work so far, 007. But there is Drake's primary access route across the island, 007. Bring it down. I'm going to die. Hold on. down I promise a softer landing next time I'm counting on it Allura come on I didn't spot anything from the air that looked like a command center James well one thing we know about Drake nothing's as it seems on the surface looks abandoned all the more reason to investigate. No reception committee. The system's active. We need a comm link. See if you can patch in. Why do I have the feeling we're about to split up again? This shaft's drawing air, and I have a good idea why. Inform MI6 of our location. I'll be in touch, Allura. Bond may have penetrated our security. Lock down the sector at once and deactivate all access codes but my own. Right away, Miss Ashi. I'm going to do a full sweep of this facility. Remain at your post and stay alert. Understood, Miss Ashi. The launch timetable has been moved up. I'm placing the security system into full lockdown. Clear and seal the room. We cannot risk anyone tampering with the control settings. Somehow he's worked his way into the complex. The elite guards will hold the line. I'm going below to cut the power so he can't follow. But if Bond does reach the facility, I'll be sure to thank him for the makeover he gave me. system. I've intercepted enough radio chatter to learn that Drake's combat troops have overtaken the defense platform. Some of the original crew might still be alive, but I can't confirm that. I can tell you that Drake's deployed a laser defense net, which draws power from the platform's core. Rather enjoyed your company, James. Do be careful. I'll call out. You're on a fool's errand, Mr. Barnes. I've just locked the launch sequence. Nothing can stop Operation Nightfire. Not even my own death. That's a theory I mean to test. <laughs> You've already failed miserably. But take with my missiles if you must. You make a splendid target for my laser cannons. James, the missiles! You won't be able to disarm the warheads in time. Your only hope is to sabotage the launch system in some way. You'll have to disable them manually. Each launch gantry has a weak coupling that you can melt with your laser.
shaken, not stirred? Or is it stirred, not shaken? Hmm. Definitely stirred. Astronomers from around the globe are reporting unexpected meteor showers. Well done, 007. Then I'm sure the world won't mind my taking a few days off. We'll let the autopilot be our designated driver. Oh, James. Working for over 20 months, the team at EA Games developed James Bond 007 Nightfire. Three core international teams in the United States, England and Canada, programmers, writers, artists, designers and animators, collaborated to create an unparalleled James Bond experience. Adding to the fantasy, Agent 007 looks and feels just like the film star himself. Pierce Brosnan. Thanks in part to a laser scanning process that captured the features of his face using over a quarter of a million data points, Brosnan's persona as 007 brings the Bond film star into the hands of game players. When you see Pierce Brosnan in the game, you see Pierce Brosnan. He's the epitome of James Bond, debonair, suave, charismatic, uh, came out great. And I think he brings a certain authenticity and, and personality to the character, just like he does in the film. So when you see him wink or raise his eyebrow, um, you're definitely seeing the real McCoy. Fast cars are another part of the James Bond equation. The Aston Martin V12 Vanquish. The Vanquish, also featured in this year's Bond film, Die Another Day, sports a six-liter V12 engine with a Formula One-style transmission. It can go from zero to 60 in under five seconds and reach speeds in excess of 190 miles per hour. To bring this amazing vehicle into the game, the design team at EA worked with Aston Martin to capture all of the exact specs and performance attributes of the car then created a 3D mesh in the digital realm. From fast cars to beautiful women and exotic locations, James Bond 007 Nightfire is packed with all the elements that make it classic James Bond, allowing the player to live out the fantasy of the world's best secret agent.
Use the helipad and take care of the body.